And I went to schools that saw you as a number. You were a number. You were a digit. You were something to put on a sheet of paper so they can get more funding. So when I come to a place like this and I see a bunch of talent, it's easy for me to relate to the other students who feel overlooked, who feel like, you know, I'm in Silicon Valley, there are billions of dollars around us, maybe nobody cares. If people knew the type of talent that was here at Kaiswell, the type of dedication that these uh, students have to their craft, whether it be animation, uh, character art and illustration, whether it be digital audio, and whether it be uh, the engineer club, they've been drawing for years or they've been tearing stuff apart and building things back together with their bare hands since uh, since they were five years old you know and it's like why wouldn't I want to surround myself with that but when I was four years old um, my mother had implemented this deal and the deal was if I raised half the money on anything I wanted from toys to candy whatever it may be uh, that she would pay the other half my first car half <laughs> um, and that just led to me learning how to negotiate. Um, then it became, as long as you're in school, I'm willing to support you. Um, and that's the beginning of my business career, actually. The first studio is called Dream Ear. And that studio is made for audio production, whether it's music or you're doing voiceovers for like a cartoon. Um, if you're trying to buy beats or if you're trying to do mixing or mastering, that's what that studio is for. Uh, the second studio is called Dream Eye. That is gonna be all making commercials, making music videos for my clients from the first business, the music studio, and um, also um, doing like logos and websites and animations. We learn where the signals go from when we record it to when it goes into uh, an analog machine, when it goes into the computer or uh, the digital audio workstation, and when we kick it back out, what it's gonna sound like. What brought me to Cogswell the second time was really getting an academic education in the field that I'm in. So really learning business and learning audio from a teacher. The freedom that you have at Cogswell to be able to say, I'm a business student, I wanna start another business, or I want to run an Indiegogo campaign and raise however much money, or I want to add on to my previous business. Instead of telling you we don't do that or giving you some outside source to go to, they say, okay, let's see how we can get that done. Already, my music quality outside of school has grown exponentially from the stuff that I'm learning in class. How many people make it into the NBA out of how many students all over the world that want to play basketball? a point of a point of a percentage. How many people make that football team or get into the NFL to make that big contract? A point of a point of a percentage. How many people who start small businesses who never quit, you know, succeed? And that's a hell of a percentage for me.